Oh, and we hang out angry at the, at the dock. For the longest time you've played this game with the world, you wait for someone, anyone, to notice how miserable you are. You wait for someone to be sorry. You wait for someone to coax you out of the state you're in with a kind word or a loving touch. You wait for someone to be the person you matter to. You wait to suffer any uh, malady, any injury, any drug dependence, criminal offense, or suicide attempt. Anything that might awaken the world to how bad you feel inside. No one cares. I do. Staggle. You feel a rush of poetic vulnerability. It's time to write a letter to Staggle. Dear Staggle. Oh boy, um... Okay. I miss you so very much. Things have been really hard for me at home. I didn't mention this earlier, but my brother shut my internet off as this fucked up way of punishing me. My family's been pretty messed up for the past couple of years. Maybe one day I'll tell you about it. Anyway, I'm just sitting by the water with my notebook. It's a little breezy, so I have to hold the pages down while I write. <laughs> Have you ever tried Jones Soda? It's a lot sweeter than Coke, and even Pepsi. The other day I tried the blue one, which is generally my favorite color flavor. It's not as good as the orange one, but they're both my new favorites. I've been writing a lot lately. Without the internet, it's the only thing to do on my computer. I don't play a lot of games because it's old. Hopefully I can post some of it soon. How's everything on the forum? Are you wrapping up Exodus Genesis yet? It's my favorite story of yours. I can't wait to go back and read everything. You're feeling pretty satisfied with the length of this letter. Time to wrap it up, eh? God. <laughs> I, the player, want... want her to be more reserved <laughs> with this. I guess I'll, you know, I'll tell, I'll tell my story here. Right back soon, okay? I'd love to hear what you've been doing this summer. Okay, bye. Well, you've made yourself a little vulnerable here, but it's still a cheery enough letter. You don't imagine anyone would take this the wrong way. You fold this, you fold the letter and pocket it. Now, we must go to the post office, right? This has to be it. <gasps> Hello? Lily is looking particularly radiant in the summer sun, as if she needed any help. You wonder what it's like to be nourished by the outside world. I have to talk to Lily first, right? I feel like something is going to be... I'm going to be revealed as rude if I try to talk to Mrs. Peters first. What's up, Mara? You quickly tidy up your hair and rub any remaining tears out of your eyes. You don't want Lily to know you've been off crying somewhere. Just walking around? What about you guys? I don't see any guys around here. Grandma, you can say guys to anyone now. It's kind of like dude. This 21st century language is too much for me. I just might go postal over here. Now you're getting it. Your exhaustion from joining a conversation already in progress has blinded you to your initial task. Did you have a reason to be at the post office? <laughs> yep, I sure did. I, I guess I have to grab some inventory stuff. It would only make sense. I don't combine these, right? No. So let's grab that letter. Uh, I actually have a letter. No problem, kiddo. Where's it going? You gingerly hand Lily's grandma Staggle's address. 
What's the recipient's name? Who's it for, honey? Uh, it's kind of... Uh, <laughs> Mara's being weird again. It's all right. You need a stamp? Oh, I guess so, but... My treat. Just need to write out the addresses. Uh, can I write out the envelope, please? Suit yourself. Perfect. I'll make sure it gets there. Have no fear. So, Mara, Lily was just telling me about the camera crew on the beach. Huh? Mara, it's MTV. They're shooting TRL on the on Perfect Tides this week. What? You wouldn't call Total Request Live your favorite show, but it's definitely the one you watch most. Every day is a new chance for viewers to vote for the top 10 music videos in America. Day by day, the list generally includes the same mix of boy bands, divas, new metal. You forgot the umlaut on the on the U. I'm just letting you know. It's not a problem. I just want to make sure you noticed. And pop punk bands with almost no variation. But the show is filmed live in front of screaming teenagers every day. And that makes it a vital living thing. They're setting up now. Want to go down there and try to get on camera? Um, yes... Should we make a sign? We totally need to make a sign. Grandma, do you have any poster board? Let me see what's in here. No plain paper, but I can give you a couple of flat rate mailers if that helps. Do you have something to draw with? Yeah, I've got some markers. Perfect. Thanks, Mrs. Peters. You're welcome. And Lily? I'll scream if a perv follows me. And? And I won't let anyone pass me drugs. <clears throat> or alcohol. Have fun, girls. Ready to be famous, Mara? Let's go. Oh my god, she's walking with me. She's walking with me. This is, this is great. This rules. I've got a buddy. We've got our little Chrono Trigger thing going on here. <laughs> Camera crew on the beach, huh? Okay, so it must not be this part of the beach. Must gotta be somewhere as somewhere else. But you know, there's only so much beach here. At least, you know, only so much that we can reach. Oh yeah. This guy appears to be checking the sound for the big show. So it hasn't started yet. The AV guy is busy setting up his equipment. He seems like the kind of person who ends up at a lot of parties and is perfectly indifferent to them. What kind of EQ is that? The AV guy blinks in your direction and returns to his work. Cool, cool. Check, check, one, two. You get no feedback. Good pun. Oh yeah, these people are also new. My gosh, it's... Tanya Adams, hot off her victory on last winter's VJ competition. She's been hosting TRL all summer long. You tremble at the thought of speaking to her. The camera guy is busy inspecting his gear with a look of frustration. Judging by a strong smell of bug spray and an, ar an, array, and an array of insect bites, he's having a hard time getting comfortable on the island. Dang. Oh, well. Well, I'm talking to the person that's progressing things. Oh, well. Uh, are you, uh, huh? When do you start filming? How'd you girls find out about this? We live on the island. My neighbor who runs the ferry said you were here. Great. Where the hell is the security team? We won't tell anyone. We just want to be on camera. I can't believe kids live on this island. I didn't think anyone lived here. Tanya, I talked to you at a taping in the city in March. Do you remember me? No. What's it like growing up in gay Disneyland? I don't know. Kind of boring. I was asking you. What do you do for fun around here, Angel? 
mostly just hang out on the beach. Try to get on TV with my friend here. Well, the beach is off limits to minors. Come on. Look, girls, come back in 30 minutes with a really good sign and maybe we'll put you on, okay? All right. Is Carson here? Are there any special guests? Bye, girls. All right. We need to make the best sign in history. Got it. Let's go to the helipad so we can spread our supplies out. Right. My god. We have a whole plan and everything. Hi, Simon. Simon is camped out on the dunes in a lounge chair. His eyes drowsy under the scorching sun. Can't quite tell if he's awake or not. Hey, Simon. Why are you sitting here? Just waiting for someone. Might if we work our sign here on the deck? No, but I suggest you hurry. Simon says we should hurry. Well, duh. The show's about to start. Let's do this. Do you have anything to color with? Uh, not really. Shit. We'll have to use our regular pens then. Oh no. It'll look like crap. We still have to try. Come on. God, the big, the big mailer. All right, here's what I'm thinking. We drop Carson Daly and NSYNC. The whole band? Well, Bye 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 is going to be the number one video, right? Definitely. But it'll take us forever to draw all five of them. Hmm. Okay, how about we just draw Justin? Why only Justin? What kind of question is that, Mara? Forget it. Wow, that looks just like him. Thanks. Your Justin's not bad either. I like to start with the hair and work my way down. I do like that they're on opposite sides of this sign, though, so... Ah! A helicopter showed up because I hit right-click! And now the helicopter is leaving. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> As I was saying, uh, they're drawing on opposite sides of the sign, so uh, either Justin or Carson is upside down, depending on how you're going to look at it. I guess this sign kind of sucks. Yes, I agree. But we did the best of what we had. Let's go. You pick up the sign. Time to get famous. I wonder if we could swim around the security line. Whoa, what? Is there like a helicopter showing up or something? Whoa. Really enjoying the high res art animation in this game when it comes up. Oh, hey. You're here. I can't believe it. Good to see you, Simon. Uh, Mitch, have you ever met Mara or Lily? They live here. Nice to meet you. You year-rounders are crazy, you know that? So we've been told. Do you own the helicopter? Good lord, no. I'm not made of money. Well, most people take the ferry. Are you tired? Want to go anywhere? Yeah, I want to go home and have a freaking drink. Sounds great. Let's go. See you later, girls. And remember, Mara. Yeah, yeah. No pool. Bye. Wow, Simon's dating him? What a snob. I wonder if he let us ride in the helicopter. Mara, focus! The show's about to start. Ah, right. And the helicopter leaves.
dude got a helicopter right in here. I'm very curious about that. Let's get moving. Unless, uh, what Lily was saying before was like an actual hint to go this way. Let's find that camera guy, Mara. Okay, so we're not going this way. We're we're going legit. We're going to go talk to that camera guy again. Oh no. Shit! Where'd this crowd come from? We were the first ones here. No fair. We have to find one of the crew. They promised to let us on. Yeah, they're probably wondering where we are. Okay. Head this way. Hmm. I'd be surprised if they're still at the beach. If they're not on either. <laughs> Where is Lily going? If they're not on either of those screens. Oh, never mind. Very sexy. Stay like that. Like this? No, you idiot. Like you were before. <laughs> Sorry. Do I have to come out there and show you? Oh, boy. Excuse me. The camera guy doesn't acknowledge you, busy as he is with his current subject. Uh, can we just talk to him for a second? The woman's eye barely topped, taps your form, but the effect is devastatingly disdainful. He's not paying attention to us. This is seriously annoying. Is that sign in our inventory? It sure is. Excuse me. We have a sign. What? Remember from before? Tanya promised we could be on TV if we came back with a sign. Annoying kids. No, I don't. And that doesn't sound like Tanya at all. Can you please film us? We worked really hard on this. I guess I can cut you in. We're just going around shooting incidentals. All right. Wait a minute. First, I want to know what you're doing after Dark Angel. I phrased, I read that line weird because I did not expect it to be that kind of tone. Me? There's a party tonight in the private section of the beach. I think you'd really like the scene. Lots of TV people. Uh, can I bring Mara? Sorry, just you. Your stomach drops hearing the words you already knew were true. You are, by default, undesirable. I understand why she's reacting that way to this. But as uh, the adult here, I'm immediately concerned that Lily is being coerced into something bad. That's okay. I gotta be back home anyway. Give me your number. I don't have a cell phone. What if I met you on the beach? Lily does, in fact, have a beeper. I wonder why she didn't offer that. Okay. Meet me here at 8.30. We'll have a blast. Is 10.30 okay? I want to make sure my parents are asleep before I sneak out. 10.30 is great. Oh, this guy is a huge mega creep. But it sounds like Lily knows what she's doing, so... Hey. Give it a rest. Why don't you girls stand with the water in the background? You're stuck between a camera and the ends of the earth. <laughs> Did you see us? No. Did you? No. Guess our sign was too crappy after all. I thought it was cool. You suddenly realize you and Lily have spent the whole day together. You used to do this all the time. Now with Lily's full life of friends and extracurriculars, it is rare. You think about how low you felt earlier today. Like there was no one in real life who cared for you at all. You never want this day to end. You probably have to get ready for that party, huh? Party? With the TV guy? 
The guy you said you'd meet on the beach? What? Mara, I wasn't serious about that. You weren't? That guy is so old, he's practically on death's door. Don't make me puke. Well, what do you want to do then? Have you ever been to the campsite in the wilderness? The one past the woods? I don't think so. There's no one in the registration book for tonight. Want to go? Uh, are you sure we should be going into the woods? I know the way. Let's go, Mara. Your fear of the woods is temporarily offset by the thrill of making this night last. You screw your courage to the sticking place and let Lily guide you. Oh, here we go. Well, Lily's still walking behind us, but that's fine. Uh, oh, you know, do the smart thing. Save again. Play it safe, play it correct. Another saying that people definitely have, for sure. Things are bumping here. Of course, everyone's here, though. It's not uncommon for fire club goers to spill out into the square for many hours late into the night. You bristle with anxiety at the sight of them, having clearly absorbed from the club a sort of fun and camaraderie you've never known. A moody bouncer guards the entrance to the club. It's clear that your natural charm won't be able to sway him. Like so many visitors in the summer, this one is smoking his way through all the trendy locales of the island. A group of genetically gifted 20-something men line the entrance to the nightclub. None of them seem particularly happy to be waiting. Smokers outside the club can often and inevitably be seen mingling around the firehouse trucks. You'd love to talk to some of these men and absorb, through osmosis, some of the enjoyment of their night, but you sense that your presence would only take away from the pleasure, and who benefits from that? Uh, can I bum a smoke? Can I pay you a dollar for that for a cigarette? Can you completely forget I talked to you? The smoker nods. Your first instinct is to scold the smokers for leaning on the firehouse trucks. But what if chaos ensues and a dropped cigarette ignites the whole boardwalk? You could barely live with that outcome in your imagination, let alone in reality. What if I told you I left my ID inside the club in a place only I can find and it's desperately important that I go in there and retrieve it? The bouncer is completely unmoving. Even his hair and clothing stop moving in the breeze. Good to know this is what I can count on in an emergency. I bet the inside of the club isn't all it's cracked up to be. They just line you up out here so you'll think it's worth entering. You follow this line of reasoning a lot, don't you, Mara? Okay, moving on. We've all had a fun time here. I thought I clicked on the arrow. I clicked on the arrow. Okay, excellent. <laughs> that was goofy. Oh my god, we're finally breaking the bounds of this screen. Whoa. It's somewhere new. Huh, nothing to see anywhere here. That is quite unusual for this game. Keep moving, I guess. Dark? So you know the way? Yeah, Mara, I told you I do. I believe you, you know. I just can't see anything. I've done this a million times. You don't have to see. You just have to be sure. Booyah! Private campsite! Uh, what about the tent? It's abandoned. Nobody's used it for months. This is amazing. I can't believe we have this place all to ourselves. All the tourists are at the rentals and hotels. This place is pretty much unused till late summer. Want to smoke? Sure. You find you're surprised that the smoke burns less than you remember. Its heat and aroma are almost pleasant. But you also didn't really inhale this time. You just held the smoke in your cheek. Maybe that's the trick. 
a sense of awe and relief comes over you. You see the way your prayers were answered today in a moment of need. You were so sad, and now here you are. An artist, someone's long-distance girlfriend, an expert negotiator, an almost TV star, smoking on the beach with your best friend. It's as if you've been given a reason to live. Mara? Yes, Lily? I'm going away with my family for the rest of the summer. I just found out today. My parents are thinking of moving upstate, where my half-brother lives. They were gonna wait till I finished high school, but like... We're probably gonna look for a house on this trip. My parents want to turn our home on perfect ties into a rental property. It's like... Really fucking stupid. Are you upset? You find you're unable to meet Lily's eyes. You can't stop the acid bubbling inside of you. Dunno. If you've gotta go, you've gotta go, I guess. I'm gonna miss seeing you this summer. And I'd really miss you if I didn't come back. You might not even come back? I don't know yet. Here, Mara, pass the cigarette back. Don't waste it. Well, I guess this is goodbye then. Please don't be mad. This is already really hard for me, okay? Oh, you'll be fine, Lily. You have no trouble making friends. You think it's easy for me to uproot my life? My parents dragged me kicking and screaming to my first day of school here. You think Ashley and Christina were nice to me at the beginning of high school? I had to work hard to win their friendship. Good for you. Hey, don't walk away from me. I'm not responsible for whether you have friends or not. Oh, so you're saying I have no friends? You're saying that, you dumb bitch? Fuck you. Why don't you go have sex with Mac Matt Reinwald one last time? I'm sure he'd love to have something to remember you by. Sounds better than hanging out with a stinking cunt like you. At least I'm not a boobless hoe. At least I'm not ugly and annoying. Then why'd you ever hang out with me? Yeah, that went about how I expected. Ooh, she made it back okay. I was worried. Once again, you'd like to die. Lily is gone. Simon is gone. There's no return to your internet life in sight. You have nothing. Did we even sleep? Concerning. I imagine there isn't really anything we want to do on the computer right now. I might as well try. Yeah. We're just leaving our room. Oh boy, talking to family after that. Timothy is watching TV, oblivious and indifferent to the agony of your world. Mom's at the counter with her coffee, as usual. Good morning, Timothy. Did you get a haircut? It looks good. Nope. You may have noticed how calm and collected I've been about the internet ban. I haven't noticed. That's because of how nice I've been. Anyway, I was wondering if... You're banned for the entire summer. I don't make the rules. You 100% make the rules. Wanna extend your ban by a week? Two weeks? I have no problem doing that. No. What an infuriating dance. Not only do you need to serve out this very unfair sentence, but you also need to be as nice to Timothy as possible. You feel disgusted with yourself for even trying. I saw snacks in your drawings in the living room. Was Lily over last night? Uh, yeah. I mean, no. 
I mean... Everything alright? Forget it. Oh boy, okay, well, let's... Leave the house. 